Hey everyone, this is Xet, and in this video I want to show you the amazing press kit haul I had um, today. Um, this is a set of 33 press kits. They're all, except one, for the PlayStation uh, consoles, and uh, there's some amazing stuff in here. Some of these I already have and will be uh, up for sale or trade, so if you are interested in grabbing one of these, be sure to contact me. The first seven I'm going to show you are spares for me, so they will be for sale. Um, this is Uncharted 2. Not gonna open it because it's a lot of fuss to uh, to fold it back in, etc. But if you want to see the contents, there's already a video on just this set in in my channel. Really cool kit. Has a nice um, nice artwork, etc. And two discs. So the next one is Primal. Also one of the nicer kits for the PlayStation 2, in my opinion. When we open the box, there's a Primal uh, booklet and a canvas. Um, there's a picture from the game in there and in the booklet there's two discs. There's a press video disc and a press disc in the back. Let's see if I can find that. There you have it, the press disc. So this one will also be up for sale. In my opinion this is one of the top five kits for the PlayStation 2. But the number one for the PlayStation 2, hold on, we'll get there. Tekken 4, another one I already have, and the problem with this kit is this band is just uh, paper, so we have to be really careful in getting it off without damaging it or ripping it apart. It's not the smartest thinking in my opinion, but see, there it goes off, and inside we find, oh, upside down, inside we find two discs, two of uh, those Chinese uh, charm balls. There's a little bell inside, as you can hear, and up here there's a little poster. So, what we have next is Formula One 2001, also for the PlayStation 2. It's a big uh, plastic folder and has Formula One printing on it. Let's see if you can see that when I take out the inter insides. There you have it, very light Formula One. So the kit itself consists of a couple of cardboard sleeves, uh, leaflets, and some discs, three discs in total. Also up for sale. But the one for sale will have one disc missing. Because I had a missing disc. So Siphon Filter 3, I already have a spare copy of this, so I have two, three copies in total now. Nice kit, fold out folder, game disc, press disc. All in all, nice little kit. Buzz Hollywood. I picked uh, my first copy up a couple of weeks back. You might have seen it. Comes with two discs and an uh, envelope full of uh, question cards for like uh, for like a show host. But on the question cards, there's information on the game. Then the last one that's going to be up for grabs. Uh, already, I also have a spare copy of this one already. It's WRC Rally Three. There's a DVD in there, two discs. So so everything you see from now will not be up for sale because this is going to be in my collection. Um, some of these kits are cool, some of these are mediocre, and some of these are extremely awesome or maybe even one of a kind, I'm not sure. Some of these I've never seen before. I want to start off with something uh, really cool which made me actually buy this lot. It wasn't cheap, but at the inclusion of this item definitely pulled me uh, pulled me over the line to buy it. This is the Chronicle the Chronicles of Sir Francis Drake. So if you're a gamer, you know what this is about. This is the Uncharted 1 press kit. It's a really cool book with the first pages are uh, information on the game. And actually here it says photo decipher goes here. We'll get to that in a bit. So when we open it there's a photo decipher as you can see it's a picture with a lot of holes in there and you put it over here and it gives a message. I haven't tried it out yet but it's a really cool uh, interactive uh, extra. Then there's this property of Nathan Drake it has a fake copied disc in there. This is the press disc for Uncharted 1. This is a map a uh, little book with pictures etc. This is a letter and that was it. Those are the contents. 
And uh, I'm a huge Uncharted fan. Uh, well, actually, a huge fan. I just really love the series. Great games. Actually, still working on part three at the moment due to too little time to play. But uh, I already have the press kit for two, as you saw, and this is the gem of my uh, Uncharted uh, stuff. I don't have a lot of stuff, but this is definitely really awesome. Then next up is iToy Chat. This doesn't have a camera with it. There's two discs and an information booklet and then a whole bunch of what I think are posters or not sure, it's just a whole lot of paper bunched up. I'm not gonna open that because I don't going I'm not gonna hang up a poster if it's a poster, so I'll just keep that closed. So that's iToy Chat for the PlayStation 2. Then WRC4. I already showed you WRC um, 3, and I am going to show you WRC 2 also. This is part 4. It's a nice cardboard box. The contents of this is still sealed, so I'm not going to open not going to open that press disc and demo. It says there on the bottom, and this on the back is probably a poster. I'm actually not sure if there's a WRC 1 press kit. If there is, that's the only one I'm missing. Wipeout Pulse. This is a press kit without a game disc. Postcards, press disc, and probably some information on the game. This is a cool little box, and it's for a Siren Blood Curse, I think. Not 100% sure. It's, this is a poster, some creepy cards, creepy creepy. This is a voucher with a demo to download the demo of the game. Because some press kits have a game disc, some have a promo disc, you can have a full game disc or a review code and sometimes you have to download the review code from PSN. So Siren Blood Curse, this is the press disc. Games like uh, Mod Nation Racers, etc., they come only with a code. It comes with a disc, but there's nothing on the disc. And when you insert the disc, it uh, like talks to PSN, gives a code, and then you get to download the game. Next up, one of my favorite adventure games, Beyond Good and Evil. This is also one of the press kits that really made me want to buy this lot, because this is a game I love, my girlfriend loves it, and I really wanted to have the press kit for it. Just some information on the game, some nice pictures. And in the back we have a press kit disc. So again, no game disc. Then we have Infamous for the PS3. This is a plastic slipcover. There's a nice book in there. A media disc. Game information. In the middle there's a really cool fold mount poster. Really shiny city overview. Can't show you on the camera because it's not wide enough. Um, there's no game disc, I think. Let's see if there's something in the back. Oh, there it is. Demo code. So that's not the full disc, probably. Not the full game, probably. Um, once in a while, really rarely, there's a you have a press kit with an uncompleted game. Um, in this lot is one press kit that has a pre-production code of the game. Uh, I haven't tried out the game and I haven't read about it, but it's possible that that's, the, that's a version of the game that didn't actually make it to the market. So there could still be uh, different features in there, or some errors, or something. Next up, Fear. Really scary game, I remember playing this uh, when it first came out on the PC. And I almost shat myself playing this. Comes with a press disc and a booklet. No, um, no game disc, again. So what's next? Let's pick the only non-PlayStation game, but actually this is now a PlayStation press kit because the game also got released for the PS3, but this is for the original Wii version. House of the Dead Overkill, let's see if I can get it open. House of the Dead Overkill media disc, this is a media folder, and this is one of those t-shirts that got, um, how do you say, sucked dry because you need to add water and then it becomes a t-shirt again. So, top left. This is one of the press kits that, yeah, the problem with this kit is it got sent out like this to the original recipient and uh, they actually used the box of the press kit as the shipping box. I prefer them, put an extra outer box, a shitty box, just keep this one 
clean, don't ruin it with stickers, etc. Because I can't get these off without ruining it. This is for a dog's life for the PlayStation 2. Comes with a game promo. Uh, dog, doggy bin, doggy tray, feeder, feeding tray, whatever you call it. Uh, there's a booklet underneath and some sealed up doggy treats. So yeah, the box is in uh, bad condition. Let's find some room to put this before we get to the next one. The next one is, let's see if you can see that on camera, yes you can, Killzone 2. I already have the Killzone 1 press kit, so now I have 1 and 2. Uh, there's also a press kit for Killzone Liberation on the PSP, I don't have that. And I think there's also a press kit for Killzone 3. I think I saw that a couple of weeks back. So, welcome to Helgan, that's the planet plays, Killzone uh, takes place. Information on the game. And in the back, there's an artwork disc, and this is the, one of those pre-production discs that I was talking about. There you can see, creation date, pre-production. So, it's possible that this is a different version that, than from the game, uh, from the one that eventually got in, uh, got in the retail uh, chain. So, Killzone 2 that was. Next up is another PlayStation 3 kit. Um, this needs to be glued back together because uh, this got loose. This is supposed to be there because it needs to open with Velcro. This is Motorstorm Pacific Rift. It's like the outside of a tire folded in to make an envelope. It comes with a lot of stuff. Let's see if I can get everything out. Yeah, that was everything. So, a wristband. It's too small to get focus on. This is a key card for your neck and it comes with some information on the game. This is the review disc, so this is again full code, full game, media disc, and some extra paperwork, a ticket, another ticket, and a poster. I'll put that back in when we're done. Um, top left again. This is again shipping, this is actually a shipping envelope, so that's no problem that they actually used it for what they made it for. Inside is a really cool book. This is, uh, in Dutch it says, the impact from PlayStation op het menselijk lichaam, which translates to the impact of PlayStation on the human body. This is from 2005, and this is a, um, how do you call it, this is a book that they send out to big retailers. Uh, this front thing is still um, unopened, so I'm not going to mess with that and open it. But when you go through the book, you see Buzz the Music Quiz, for example. Gives you some info on the game, and then it shows you the entire uh, marketing strategy for the Netherlands, and maybe some other countries as well. So it shows in October, what are we going to do on TV, where on TV, radio, print, internet, etc. Public relations, if, if there's going to be a press kit, etc. So this is some really inside information on PlayStation marketing. And it's in great condition, looks great, and uh, I'm actually going to read this because it's quite interesting. Oh, there's actually a WRC5, so maybe there's a press kit of that as well. And in the back there's a DVD with, uh, with info on the games that, that, that are talked about in this book. So all in all, really special item. I'm sure there's more out of them uh, out out there, but uh, I've never seen this before. Some really nice uh, view inside the marketing of PlayStation. So, which one are we gonna pick next? Too bad this is an interactive video because I'd let you choose. But um, let's start with let's get on with Jackie Chan Adventures. This is one of those Chinese food takeout boxes. So yeah. Inside we find a dragon yo-yo, a fortune cookie, a t-shirt with uh, which has uh, Jackie Chan on the front. If you can see that, yeah, you can. Then Jackie Chan Adventures uh, promo. This is the press disc and something really special. I can get it out there. The ingredients list for the fortune cookie so you don't get poisoned.
or if you have some kind of allergies, of course. So, time splitters, two. This is a big tin. This is huge. Look, my hand. So, quite huge. But the insides, a bit disappointing. Uh, Keychain thingy from one of the characters from Time Splitters. And there's a folder, pad support. This is a French version. I think this only got released in France, this press kit. Information on the game. Press disc, game disc. So, big box, small contents. I have the feeling that it's not 100% complete, but I can't find anything, any information on it proving otherwise, so not sure at the moment. Um, no, I'm going to show you this one last, together with this one. And why? Because I say so. PlayStation 1. This is actually one of those, um, the same kit as, as the book I showed you a while back. Big box. Inside is a small box. This has two discs. C comes out of the sides. Really cool. If I pull out one side, it comes out the other as well. Really cool mechanic. This is a, a DVD on the games that are. Um, oh no, this is actually demo discs on the games that are going to be released in the Netherlands in a certain year. And this is 2002. So again, this is for the retail. Uh, they could play this in their store or uh, just watch and see which uh, games were going to be released that year. And I'm actually planning on watching these and see if there's something on there that actually didn't make it to release. That's not impossible, so... If you look on eBay a lot and search for press kits, you'll see, you'll recognize this one. Um, this one comes up quite often. It's the Resistance 2 press kit. It's a tin, biscuit tin, and it's made old. See a lot of rust and a lot of damage to it. Inside, really a lot of cool stuff. An old newspaper with information on Chimera. Let's bring this closer to the camera. A postcard of some guy. Not sure who he is. I haven't played the game. Not into first person shooter games. Some ticket, a passport for Henry D. Stillman. If you're a Resistance fan, let me know if this is the game character or anyone. Not sure. Not a information thingy. Birth certificate on Henry Stillman again. Oh. Uh, cinema ticket, Attack of the 300 Feet Monster. And then the game disc, no, this is the media disc actually, and it's printed to look like an old uh, final uh, LP record, and the uh, game disc. Buzz Jr. And this is actually for Buzz Jr. Uh, jungle something. Bunge? Can't think of the name at the moment. Comes with a lot of crazy stuff that you don't really need so first up a bunch of buzzers then a foam banana crayons magnet booklet with information oh no this is actually a coloring book stickers this is the booklet with the information J jungle party that's it and last but not least the game disc and no this is the press disc this is the game disc so a lot of stuff for a kids game I'll close that up later so we're down to the last one two three four five six this is a Dutch book called at parallel house the parallel house and again this is a information, uh, release information set. Uncharted 1 and then again here's the information what are we gonna do in cinema, on TV, uh, animations, on internet etc. So this is the same kind of book that I showed you before but this is from uh, the really early PlayStation uh, uh, 3 and PlayStation Portable era. So again really cool information, inside information. This one is Forbidden Siren. This is a 
same kind of texture that they used for the God of War Ghost of Sparta press kit. Inside here is a disc, so this is the game disc, no, press disc, it says on the bottom. Then this is the game disc, oh, let's get it out of there. Yep, there you have it, game disc. Oh, DVD instructions it says, by the way. This is a poster and a postcard. Again, a bunch of extras you have no need for, but that's what makes these press kits appealing to me. A whole bunch of extra stuff, and the more crazy the better. Warhawk, the last kit for the PS3. It's a big book, comes with a folder in front, has the disc, and this book is just a couple of pages of information, I think. And yeah, there's some pictures, and then it's all just empty. I have no clue if you can use this in co combination with the game. I don't think you can, but yeah, it's just a big book of nothing. So it looks cool, but yeah. What are you gonna do with it, huh? So, WRC Extreme. This is WRC 2, and um, I have this kit already. But it's just the, the 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 disc. I didn't know there was a big version of this kit until I got this. And trust me, this one looks awesome. Because when we fold it open, ta-da! There's a miniature car with the remote control stuff, the game, and the press disc. And behind there, there's uh, information on the game. I actually have this one for spare now. But I didn't know it used. To, it's supposed to come with this big uh, big box. So we're down to the last two, and the last two are a special story. Let's zoom a bit on this. This is actually the only game I know that has two different press kits. This is Ghost Hunter for the PlayStation 2. Um, I think the first one, the topmost one, is actually a, a pre-release kit, or like a kit to get more um, to get more attention for the game, because it doesn't have the game disc. The second kit does have the game disc. So when we open the first one, it has a little cylinder here. See if you can see that? Yeah, you can. A little cylinder, and when we open that up, there's a small paper inside, and it reads Do not open, blah blah blah, you unleash the ghost of a serial killer um, to get it back uh, to prevent innocent, innocent victims, uh, see the information in the box. So we did something stupid and we unleashed the ghost. So let's put this back, then when you pull it open, it flips open and on the back of the box there's some information. Um, if you didn't open the co if you didn't open the cylinder, good job. And if you did, play the game to uh, get the ghost back in the back, whatever. So inside the kit, there's a Ghost Hunter ID badge. Oh, you can't see that. I zoomed too much. Ghost Hunter ID badge. Ghost Hunter shock jumps, and this is a card game. So it's a completely a complete card game. And I'm not 100% sure, but I don't recognize these cards, so they're probably designed for this kit. So especially for this game. Come on, focus. No, can't get a focus. So it's a card game, 60 cards, with instructions, specially designed for uh, just this kit. Then there's a demo disc, and uh, some more information on, uh, on the game. So that was Ghost Hunter. The first kit. Really cool item. Interactive. So this is the second kit. Um, the tape on the front is actually not supposed to be there. Again, this box got used as the shipping box. And this is the box of the press kit. So it's not supposed to be there, but it does add a little extra in my opinion. It doesn't really hurt the kit that much. If it was a different kind of box, different kind of tape, it would have been bad, uh, worse. So when we open it up, you see 
a lot of writing on the inside of the box, drawings, crazy stuff, and a piece of crumpled up newspaper. The newspaper talks about a ghost unleashed at a high school or something. And then inside the kit, which I'm uh, conveniently hiding now by the newspaper, there's just the sickest item. And focus, there we go. This is a broken up China doll. It's supposed to be like this, I've seen more of these kits. And it, yeah, it just looks horrible. Let's see if we can zoom a bit on that. The face is broken, smashed in, the doll is tied up, blood everywhere, etc. This is just very macabre. And there's some Polaroids of ghosts. And then two discs. I think this is the press disc. And then this is the game disc with a bloody handprint on it. So, in my opinion, that's one of the best press kits I've ever seen. It just looks so scary. This is not something you want to give uh, give someone for its birth his birthday because they will be scared shitless. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I uh, do enjoy uh, receiving these press kits, as you can imagine. Um, if you want to see more press kits, because this is like uh, one third of my press kit collection, be sure to check out my other videos. Um, and uh, yeah, I post a weekly video every week on uh, on my weekly finds. So uh, that was a lot of week in one sentence. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.